Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Yes, I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail so I do kind of feel like I am a bald egg. <laughs> Today I am here with my July Fairy Loot unboxing. I am really excited for this box. I already forgot the exact theme. Let's just uh, open the box and see what is inside of here. When I open this, I will probably see the spoiler card so I'm gonna look at the theme. So the power, the theme is the power within and this is the spoiler card so I'm not gonna look at it. I think that Fairy Loot's themes are always very unique and I mean like the power within you can think of basically anything. So the first item that I see right here, I do know what this is, and this is a enamel mug, which I always adore. Due to the magical heat changing nature of this mug, please only hand wash it. Do not dish wash or microwave. Okay, I don't know if it's an enamel mug. So I have absolutely no clue what kind of heat change thing is in here um, But I will hopefully do it and then I will put a clip in here for you guys. It is called the whoa mug Oh, there's also a, an instruction thing in Dutch They say here on the instructions that the mug is suitable for a microwave, but they don't recommend it It's a little bit tinier than I think the normal the normal mug size. I always love mugs Yes, even though my mom doesn't get really happy because then we have more mugs to put in the cupboard. It is a medium broomstick. This is so cute. Look, it's like a little Harry Potter wand. Don't chase the quaffle if you see the snitch. It's a pen, but it has like a wax thing here. This is so cute and adorable. I, I, I love this. Hopefully this will stay intact because I can see this falling apart. This is cute. <laughs> what is this? I have no clue. I think that this might be like a scarf or something or maybe for your pillows. It looks colorful, so that is a good sign. Oh, I think, wait, what is this? <laughs> is it a tea towel? Oh. This is the item that they sent an email about because they recently sent you an email about an item which was printed the wrong way. Sometime very soon they will be sending this item again but with the print like printed right on it because now the only way that I can see the quote is when I look in the viewfinder. So what I can tell from looking to this quote in the mirror, it's a quote from And I Darken by Kirsten White. Her spine was steel, her heart was armor, her eyes were fire. Yeah, I, I think that was it. But I can still use this as a tea towel and just sort of like admire the quote from a different point of view. I need tea towels in my dorm. <laughs> I think this is some sort of like body spray. <gasps> mm. So this little spray bottle is called, I think, uh, hopefully I will pronounce this correctly, Theron's Study Lavender and Book Scented Room Spray. And this is apparently inspired by Snow Like Ashes by, what's her name? By Sarah Roche. And I am gonna spritz it a little bit in my room. Mm, that smells so fresh. Usually I am, uh, it's like lavender is a big turn off for me. I'm not the biggest fan of lavender to be honest, but the items that I have received which were lavender scented surprised me so much. I really adore this smell. It smells really fresh. Hopefully it will uh, last me a little bit because it's a tiny bottle. I think there was like a laptop sticker or something in here. I cannot, every single time that I pick up something, I don't know what it says. So it says Aunt Elder, which means breathe fire. So after I've read Sky in the Deep, I will probably put this sticker on my laptop if I've really enjoyed the book. Oh, okay, so yeah, I saw this one as well. This is an art print of Zili from Children of Blood and Bone, and I haven't read the book yet, so I'm not like freaking out about this, but after I've read Children of Blood and Bone, I probably will. I love the colors. I love that she has like such a rich skin color, and then the white hair, it just looks so pretty. That was the last last item in the box, so now let's see what book it is. I have no idea, and that has been the same for the past couple of fairy loot boxes, um, but it's fine with me. Oh my god, okay, so yeah, they have been doing like really fancy stuff with their books, so this is a hardcover book with sprayed pages, and they will be doing really awesome stuff with their books uh, the next upcoming months. They will have like sprayed pages, or it will be an exclusive cover, or the author will have signed it, so um, way to go, fairy loot. Wow, so... Ooh, this one is really pretty. It is called Heart of Thorns by Brie Barton and look, oh my god, this is really, really pretty. Trust your heart even if it kills you. This is what the hardcover looks like it underneath the dust jacket and I have never ever heard of this story. What I can get from quickly reading this book, but I do definitely recommend you to read the synopsis, like the full good synopsis on Goodreads. It is about this girl and her mother has been killed, but right now she's been living with her father and their infamous pack of hunters, Mia, and she lives in a world where only women can possess magic and also every single woman is suspected of having it, but those like half girls 
girls have kind of witches. Why Rag are feared, but Mia wants to do good in like the hunter world with her father and everyone else. But then her father has a different plan for Mia and she has to marry the upcoming king. And that was totally not at all what she had planned. But then she also finds out that she's one of those like half girl, half gods. Apparently she has to find out everything about the kingdom and about herself. And it sounds very, very interesting. Ooh, and it has a really pretty map in here as well. So that sounds really awesome. I don't think it was signed by the author too. <gasps> oh, yes it is. It was signed by the author. So here it is. That is great. Oh, and it even has like a little special imprint of fairy loot. So that is so cool because now you like actually know it's an exclusive fairy loot edition. And what they've been featuring lately is they've been featuring, <gasps> yes, these gorgeous like art prints of the characters. So these are apparently characters which will be featured in the book and then on the back it has the note from the author, which I love that they are doing this because then you can really get like how the characters look through the author's eyes. That was my July Fairy Loot unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You can also follow me on all my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will also be in the description bar down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!